Thank you, Mr. Wolfers. It does give me great pleasure to be before you this evening and have the opportunity to speak at my first John Collett School speech night. I would like to begin by giving my heartfelt thanks to the entire school community for the trust and support you have given me, from the board, teachers, office staff, parents, and most importantly, our students. I have felt welcome from the first day I arrived. Before joining John Collett School, I did my research, as many people do these days, online through Google. Here was a small school in a lovely bushland setting that took the time in what is already packed national curriculum to include such things as mindfulness, Sanskrit, philosophy, choir, a full Shakespeare program for the entire school, and was with it, all these extras managing to outperform almost all schools across the nation. Had these children been handpicked from the most elite nurseries in Australia? Did they spend each day practicing a battery of tests? Was there something in the water in Wyatt Avenue? Was it a secret experiment in genetic engineering and perhaps the secret sister school of the X-Men? I was very relieved upon arriving to find that everyone to be just regular humans who were passionate about quality education. I've really enjoyed this year in unpacking the different elements of John Collett School. Each event, celebration and performance has been a first and I've been continually astounded at how rich and diverse an environment this is for our students. The whole is certainly greater than the sum of its parts though and for me, this has been evident on a daily basis through the character and actions of our students. Many schools have a set of values that they aspire to. Very few actually embed them uh, practically into the life of the school, let alone have the same approach with staff. John Collett School has a proven approach to holistic primary education that is undertaken by passionate and committed teachers. These teachers are in turn supported by a parent community who have chosen this school because they too share in our values and are dedicated to ensuring the very best environment for their children. Schools are all about people and it's a shared vision which enables ours to flourish. When you have even a small community such as ours engage with a shared vision, amazing things can happen that go beyond what should reasonably be possible. Just a few quick uh, examples include our second class students whose combined artwork of the plant Gravillia calii, an endangered species growing in a protected area behind our school, coming second in the threatened species uh, children's art competition, which resulted in a, a gift of a land box up in the Blue Mountains as well. Our sixth class combined artwork becoming a finalist in the Gallipoli Art Prize, an honorable mention within our Stedford competition, our chess team came sixth in the Sydney Ac uh, Academy Chess Challenge and were only one point behind third place in the New South Wales Primary School Tournament. NAPLAN results showing JCS to be equal fifth in New South Wales and ninth nationally. Taking first in the Inter-School Debate Championship, placing in almost all areas within the piece of sport competitions throughout the year and competing within the International Sanskrit Competition which is set and marked in London. Not to mention our standout events this year, such as Open Day Shakespeare Festival, Science and Book Week. Now, when I did start that Google search, not much more than a year ago now, one of the items that popped up was YouTube recordings of school speeches from previous years. I was extremely impressed then, as I'm sure you will be tonight, by the speeches of the head boy and girl. I had to check again, I was not in fact looking at a high school rather than a primary and got a bit worried. I was also pretty impressed by Mrs. McKendrick's speech, which is also on YouTube. Speaking is something we learn to do very early on. It seems simple, yet doing so in front of a large audience can be incredibly difficult. Research studies show us that adults find public speaking up there with the top rating fears like snakes and spiders. It takes skill and practice. As you may now be wondering, I did not have the opportunity for public speaking or debating in my early education. And as you hopefully cannot tell too much, I'm still working on it. 
any improvement has only come through multiple times of butterflies, sweats, shakes, and heart palpitations. Speaking publicly is a great gift, and it's just one of the outcomes of the work of our school through our excellent literature program, debating competitions, performing arts programs. Students here become confident, resilient, and caring citizens. Even more than the individual results or events during the year, the true mark of the school comes down to the students, and I'm very proud and honoured to be learning with such a wonderful group of children. As we come to the end of 2016, we're at an exciting time in our school's journey. As many of you know, our master plan was approved this year, allowing us to plan for new growth and enhance our facilities. We have begun the building of two new classrooms and the creation of a new play area above Top House, both of which will open next year. Along with a large cohort of new lower first children, we will also be welcoming new students across many of our year levels. As our community grows, so does our ability to support continued growth and improvement for all the children at our school. And this is all very positive. However, sadly, as I'm often reminded and encouraged to address, we do not have a high school. Because of this, it is with sorrow that we are saying goodbye to our current sixth class. A few words for sixth class. Do remember that making mistakes is learning as long as you don't do it twice. Do try and learn to keep your shoelaces done up. Respecting others is the right thing to do, especially your parents. You really don't know how hard a job it is. Be true to yourself and act to help others. And remember, a pause a day keeps the doctor away. I think that's how it went. But lastly, remember to stay in touch. You'll always have an open door at John Collett School. Do come and visit us. We want to hear all of your adventures from now right throughout your life. I'd like to mention two critical volunteer groups that are invaluable to our school. Uh, both of you have heard speeches from tonight. The first being our Parents and Friends Association who give up so much of themselves to enhance our school. If you're not already involved, I implore you to join their group or perhaps just support an event. They're a great group of people and it's also fun. The second group I'd like to thank is our Board of Governors. They've been particular help to myself in this first year and have also consistently guided the school over the years as committed volunteers. I would like to end in the same way as I began by thanking all students, parents, staff and board members for making me so welcome this year. I trust that you'll extend the same John Collett friendship to all our new families who are joining us in 2017. I would like to now welcome Mr Callum Hoy, our head boy, to give his speech. <laughs> 